Welcome to Happiness is a Healthier Habit with me, your nutrition coach. I am Jackie Poole, and here we talk about mom life, weight loss, habits, and everything in between. And I want to just dive in today because we are in July. We're talking about, you know, kind of reviewing what we've been wanting to do, kind of resetting, reforming those goals, we might have fallen off the wagon, whatever it is, how to create a plan for you to reset yourself to begin again, if that's something that you're doing, whatever you are trying to accomplish, we've all done it, we kind of fall off the wagon, we get off track and it's kind of hard for us to really get back on it or haven't really been able to get back to our routines especially because it's summer there's always things going on there's no real routine we just kind of get up and go especially for us there's no real set anything we just kind of get up and go but number one thing is there's always some kind of movement first thing in the morning and breakfast is like the only thing that's established so it can be difficult it can be hard to kind of get back on routine especially during the summer when all you want to do or all anything you're doing is traveling or just enjoying out, the kids are home, things are so different during this time that it can be a little challenging to get back on track, to get back to a routine. But what we're going to talk about today is going to make it super simple, super easy to get back on track because sometimes it can definitely, you hear all these tips and try to implement them and they just don't work out the way you want to. And sometimes we can put a lot of expectations on ourselves and put a lot in our plate. And when we don't achieve those things, it can definitely bring us down, make us feel bad because we're not doing what we want to do or we were supposed to do. And we definitely put a lot of pressure on ourselves when we don't accomplish things that we really wanted to do. And it can be a confidence, you know, diminisher. It can definitely leave us feeling like we were not accomplished we failed and that's not what we want right so here we're going to go through a couple of steps on how to create a plan how to make it successful and how to keep it going not just now but for whenever we are feeling in a slump or feeling stuck or unmotivated whatever the reason you can pull out this episode and it's going to give you these tips to get you back on track reset restarted and feel really good about getting back to where you wanted to be so Number one is starting with a clear path, a clear vision. You know, sometimes we say we want to start working out and we don't really, you know, say what we're going to do. We just kind of go about it and or it could be the opposite. You know, you've somebody that, you know, has stopped working out for a while and really want to get back on it. And you're going to go to the gym five days a week. And that can be overwhelming. That can be super challenging, especially if your schedule has changed and you're not used to. So you kind of have to work yourself back up to that, right? <clears throat> excuse me. So you want to go with a clear excuse me, with a clear path, a clear vision, um, and just not going in blindly, right? So it doesn't matter. You know, there's something that I read the other day, your mind doesn't know the difference between imagination and what is real. So you really want to set yourself up for whatever your goal, whatever motivates you, you know, your weight loss journey, and maybe a picture, a a view when you were younger or how you wanted to look or um, as inspiration that you might have or it could be a dress that you wanted to fit in um clothes that's always one for me I always had these 
4th of July, like American <laughs> booty shorts that I love wearing during 4th of July because they are a motivation for me to get back on track. So I know if I'm fitting a little bit, if they're fitting a little too tight or something like that, that's definitely a gauge for me. Like, okay, you know, I need to, if I want to wear them, this is what I have to do. And so that's just something that I have out as a reminder for myself, sub subconsciously that I have and I want to fit in that so that's just a little cue of a clear path that I want to take and a reminder that you have so you know it's important to have these things maybe written down maybe accountable with somebody it's ex explain it to somebody or tell somebody what you're wanting to do because you're more likely to stick to it. So whatever it is, if you want to eat more veggies, if you want to work out, really have a clear path, a clear goal of what you want to do before you start. Because when you have that, you're, you're already telling your mind what you're planning to do and it's just going to follow and it's going to make it super easy. And with that being a little seed already implanted in your brain, it's going to start growing. So when there are those days that you're having a hard time, you know, you can go back to that little, you know, statement of what you wanted to do and your body is going to naturally incline to want to achieve those goals. So number one is always have a clear path and vision of what you want to do, of what you're wanting to accomplish where you want to go and always notice where you're starting out right very important you don't want to self-sabotage you don't want to overly schedule yourself you don't want to do things that are going to be too challenging you don't want to do things that are you know you've never done before, just kind of in the middle, right? Not too easy for you, but also you want to challenge yourself somewhat. Number two is start where you are. You know, deciding what you're going to do, you know, it starts by making these decisions. Um, when you decide what you're going to do and how you're going to do it, you know, these things become a little bit more easier and more clear on what you're going to do. So the more you start doing them, the more you start feeling better. When you start feeling better, when you start noticing some of the difference, you're more inclined to keep going to continue to what you're doing because you're either you know, weighing less, you're feeling stronger, you're sleeping better. And those things really make an impact on how you go on your everyday life to how you treat yourself, how you talk about yourself, how you go into about in your work, how do you do uh, in your relationships, how do you treat your neighbors, how do you treat your family, you know, everybody and everything start with you making better decisions for your health. And so just by deciding that you're going to, you know, add more movement or add more vegetables or get more sleep, those things internally are going to make a huge difference externally to any relationship that you have, you know, outside of yourself. Number three is going to be tracking your progress, right? You know, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Like I said earlier, when you start fitting in those clothes that you didn't think you're going to fit again, or when you are getting stronger and something about lifting heavier and picking up heavier things, it's definitely empowering, or at least I feel that way when I can, you know, lift heavier, do something longer or go more reps. It's always a confidence booster. Definitely my self-esteem goes up. I feel more confident in what I'm doing. It makes me feel a lot better, a lot happier because I know that I'm doing something good for myself. So progress can be tracked in any way, um, in any shape or form. You know, I'm in this challenge right now where there's a lot of 
individuals in the group that talk about the scale. And while the scale is one way to measure progress, there's so many ways that you can measure it, not just by that number. Because body composition can be very different and the scale doesn't know how to read that. And so that's why there's all these other forms of tracking your progress, especially when it comes to for a lot of clients, for a lot of individuals, is feeling comfortable in their own skin, wearing the clothes that they wanted to wear. You know, I've had, I've, when a long time ago, I've had clothes that I didn't want to give up because I, I wanted to fit in them for so long. And once I did, it just felt so good. It felt like a really great accomplishment. And it's just a great feeling to to be able to fit in the clothes that you want to wear, that you feel comfortable, and they're not too tight. You know, sometimes, you know, you try those clothes and you, they're a couple of notches tight. And when they fit just right, it just makes a huge difference on how you feel. So tracking your process in any way or form, you know, before and after pictures is not just about the number of the scale. That can be very tricky and it's just one part of the story. So always bring along all of these other things of tracking your progress, whether is, you know, tracking you, that you added more vegetables to your meals or that you are getting more sleep, that your sleep is better, that your mood is better, that you feel less stressed, less anxious, that you have more energy, that you are, you know, waking up you know, earlier and, you know, able to do all these things. There's so many different things that you can go about tracking. Um, you just have to pick which one you want to choose, right? Because there's so many ways, not just the scale. So we've talked about starting with a clear path, a clear vision, you know, knowing where we want to go and what decisions we're going to make and tracking our progress. Number four is also going to be creating an environment that will lead us to success. So what does that mean? Sometimes what I've seen before and I've heard and I've done myself in the past is you're going to start a new diet. You're going to start something new. So you kind of want to binge and eat everything in sight, right? That you have quote unquote bad. And so that's not necessarily what you want to do is just get rid of the things that aren't serving you. You know, talk to your spouse, talk to the accountability partner that you have, you know, set yourself up for success. I've always talked about being prepared. I'm definitely a morning person and getting my things ready first thing in the morning so I don't have to think about it. You don't have to think about it twice. It's already there. Your water's ready. Your clothes are ready. You get up, you get dressed. You don't have to think. And sometimes that makes a huge difference. Sometimes we have to put our body into automatic mode in, because when we do think about things, we might feel like, oh, well, you know, maybe um, I can skip it today and oh, I don't feel like it or, oh, I don't have the motivation to do that today. So when we have those things already, when we're creating this environment for ourselves, whether it be having our meals prepped, having our clothes ready, that makes a huge difference on how we go and approach the things that we want to do. And other things that also help us with our decisions and the environment that we create is what we listen to, how we show up for ourselves, and in the support and the accountability we have. Okay, so we've talked about getting a clear path, starting with where we are and where we want to go, tracking our progress, and creating that environment that's going to lead us to successful results. But also, I'm going to add this because I, I'm not biased on this just because I'm your coach, but it definitely helps to 
if you're somebody that's done it and tried and failed and don't know what to do, to get that accountability, it's really great to have that coach with you because it's not just about the food that you eat. It's about the habits that you're creating, the establishing those beliefs and those emotions that go along with what you're doing and what you're feeling and, you know, getting over those humps that might be, you know, weighing you down and keeping you from going to seeing actual results. So, you know, sometimes we've lost that confidence in ourselves that we don't really believe that we can do it. Um, I've seen people lost and gain weight, you know, talk negatively about ourselves. When I was in my heavier days, I remember I would wear a sweater everywhere I go, even on hot days, because I didn't like showing my skin. I didn't like showing my stomach. That was something that was super hard for me to kind of get over. And when I decided to make this healthier lifestyle, when I decided to make this change, I noticed myself leaving that sweater behind and granted I want to say my coach was my mother and her support because without her I wouldn't be mentally where I am today and sometimes we need that and we don't have that or a Our circle is not about that and we need to step outside our comfort zone and get somebody that knows what they're doing, has done it before and knows exactly where you are. And that's what the coaching comes in because it's not about me telling you what to do because that comes easy. You can find everything and anything on weight loss in the internet. It's about having that support and somebody to listen to what's really going on because nutrition is not just about the food that we consume. It's about what we listen, what we hear, what we see, what we think think our beliefs and that makes a huge impact on how we go about making better decisions for better health so so don't overthink it you know create something that you want to do don't start where somebody's already ended you know really make it your own and if you need that help you need that encouragement definitely you know, suggest to getting a coach. And of course, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help you achieve. And, you know, I've done this many times and I can definitely help you understand because we really want to learn about ourselves and about what we believe. And definitely having that accountability is going to help us maintain for the long term. And so, I also have a few reminders today. If you like the episode today, please share it out to anyone that you might think needs help, um, that's needing some extra support, or just needs a reminder on how to reset and recreate a clear path to get them on the right track. And number two is I did start this SMS program where you subscribe and you get motivational text messages um, just a couple of months just to remind you that you can do it, that I, I am there to support you. So please subscribe to that. I will have the link in the show notes. And if you have any other questions, please email me. I would love to hear your thoughts about this episodes or any suggestions I would love to hear from you so you can definitely email me at happier you is a healthier you at gmail.com and that will also be in the show notes thank you so much for joining me today and I will talk to you guys next time bye